Just start recording here. Thanks for joining us, Daryl. I'm gonna start off with Lila Bromberg from Testudo Times. Hey, Daryl, how are you? How are you doing? Good, just kind of walk me through, like what has the past week been like just with, you know, different uh, cancellations, especially, uh, you know, finding out about that first one? It's definitely been different. Um, we typically have like everything scheduled, everything lined up. Um, but like with the cancellation and the changes, um, like our practices have been moved around and stuff like that. Uh, but it's so we expected. Um, coming into this season, we knew that we was playing with like a, a, a world pandemic going on. Um, so we just try to be as flexible as we can as a team. Um, and just come in when we have practice and stuff and compete and, and just get better, focus on getting better. And how did they kind of tell you guys about that first one? Like, how did you guys find out? Which, which I, I, it had been so many, I don't even remember. What the, who was the first one? Uh, Monmouth. I don't even remember how I found out about that one. Um, Coach, I know Coach Turgeon met with us before practice, um, told us about Towson. Um, I think they sent out a text, told us we was going to play James Madison Saturday. I found out on social media about like St. Pete, like it, it just been crazy. Um, but yeah, Co Coach Turgeon definitely been keeping us up to date and on point and stuff like that. Thank you. Uh, up next, we'll go to Andy Casca. Hey, Daryl. Uh, I think it's like a, a cliche that athletes use all the time, but it's like the one day at a time attitude. I mean, do you feel like this year it's never been more true that, that that's kind of the way you guys need to approach things, so that the one day at a time? Oh, for sure. Um, with a lot of veteran guys, I think we already got that mindset. Um, it's this season. Season is too long and it's too much that happens during the season to, to, to look forward to anything. Um, like we definitely work every day, the ultimate goal to win a Big Ten championship, compete for a national title. Um, but we know it's like small building blocks that we have to take every day um, in, in order to build the specific habits and stuff like that in order to, to get to that ultimate goal. Um, so yeah, we, we really like, I, it's really been, just take it day by day. Cause honestly, we don't even know we got practice or we plan. Um, so, so we really been taking it day by day and just trying to build those, those blocks to be a better team. So let's go to Emily G and Baldo. Hey Daryl. Um, I know you're just saying the other day that you guys are, are young and, and not worried about the quick turnaround. Um, but as someone who's kind of done back-to-back -back games, um, like in the Big Ten tournament, is it is this weekend a good preview for maybe freshmen or or even sophomores since we didn't have a postseason last year? Um, I guess you guys had the Thanksgiving tournament, but but like, is this good for for young guys? For sure. Um, you know, I talked about before about us all playing um, AAU at high levels and stuff like that. Um, but this is a little bit different. It's just college basketball. Um, so like, we'll definitely take this as like a Big Ten tournament or like an NCAA tournament experience. Um, but I think it's good for the young guys to have like the quick turnaround, um, watching film, learning different scouts, um, just being flexible, like playing a different team so quick and stuff like that. So I think it's great for them. Well, let's go to Henry Malone. Hey, Daryl. Um, talking about on the court stuff, uh, offensively, you guys have been really balanced for, through these first three games of having a, a different leading scorer in each. Can you talk about um, sort of what you've seen from the team offensively through these first three games and how versatile you think you can be going forward? Um, I really love, love like this team. Um, like you just talked about how efficient we is. I, I like, I sometimes don't even realize it. Um, while playing, uh, like everybody on the team, we, we focus on getting, getting the best shot for the team, for real. Um, we not worry about who scored the most points, who get all the accolades. Because um, as we seen last year, uh, when you win games, everybody get noticed, everybody get the, get the, get the ultimate prize that we all want. Um, so we just focus on winning, take, taking the best shot for the team. Um, and with everybody with the, having that mindset, I think, we all getting good efficient shots, so it's great. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything else for Daryl tonight, guys? All right. Thank you, Daryl.